Welcome to my class. I am going to explain the plant root and fungi. It can explain the relationship of the root to the and the fungi in the relationship. And uh, when uh, discussing about this particular plant. Yeah. 
we can see here. And over 5,000 species of fungi have been shown to form ectomycorrhizal interactions. And specifically our association, particularly in case of the great deal of variability, and as the most three species of mycorrhizal association with a number of different fungal species, we can see here, and we have different mycorrhizal fungi on the root form of the plant. Uh, 
six kilometers from the length. This type of roots will be uh, spreading in the soil. And uh, there is a one more soil and it's explored here. You can see these two pictures how this can be differentiated with the biological system. Welcome to the trees. In this particular aspect, plant the hormones will be produced by the body. And that can be changed the physiological state of the room. Particularly, physiology can be active area in the trees and the water. By associating of this uh, language and uh, resistant capacity uh, against the infections, whatever the infective bacteria and other fungus may be uh, associated with the room, that can be avoided by the microbiome. And uh, whereas uh, ectomicrobiome and ritualistic symbiosis, when it comes to the ectomicrobiome, this is very important and basic thing is uh, showing a ritualistic symbiosis, and both organisms will be benefited from this particular association. This combination, this partnership. Even the fungi and as well as the plant both will be defeated. And currently, seeding in nurseries, particularly in case of the development of nurseries, seeding will be going to be using these uh, types of microbiologists. And inoculated this fungi so that uh, easily that can be grown the uh, healthy plants in this particular plant. When it comes to atmosphere microbiology, this is called aerial microbiology. In case of the aerial microbiology, it is much less known about this association. Nowadays, the research. Yeah, you can see. 
the main and fundamental ritualistic uh, aspect we can see in case of that other school organization. Whereas the other schools, whatever term we have been used that other schools, surrounded by the plant cell well being, one of the cells will be the plant cell, around the plant cell, these other schools will be surrounded and uh, typically this can be uh, disintegrated after two weeks in plant cell and releases in the nutrition. Within two weeks, that can be releases in nutrition there and the third thing is that uh, nutrition will be exchanged by this particular uh, typical in the nature. And as of physics, another one important thing we, are, we can see in case of the atmospheric magnetization that is called physics. We are beta cellular hydrate baby, also seen in the lot of swellings. So cells will be become very swelling in nature. That is a basic sign that this can be whether whether it, this will be end of the hydrate or is in in the uh, nature of the hydrate, means middle of the hydrate or is at the end of the hydrate. We can see that this type of swellings. And typically, this this uh, vessels are very rich in the lipids and are thought to be involved in the storage of the lipids. And uh, this can be seen very clearly in the dynamic picture of the atmospheric microbiology of the creatures. And atmospheric microbiology is not as, as characterized uh, the ecto microbiology. This ecto microbiology is the information we have tremendous of uh, information because a lot of research has been uh, 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 done this uh, particular ecto microbiology. Less uh, information we have about this uh, atmospheric microbiology. Whereas here, the book is not entered in morphological in case of this uh, atmospheric microbiology, very difficult to determine the when root uh, are infected. Because uh, when it is infected, then we can, uh, uh, it's very difficult to think whether it is a root infected or not. And as, as uh, importantly, go to the microscopic, in, uh, microscopic studies, microscopic identification, then only we can. We come to know uh, like this uh, root is going to be infected by the atmospheric microbiology. And here the biotopes of the uh, obligate can be seen and this cannot be in the extent the culture. It may not be grown like uh, microbiological can be grown in the cultures like this. Uh, this cannot be that much of supporting to growing in the exciting culture. And so difficult to conduct the experiment. So that we are uh, going to conduct the experiment definitely in case of the in, in vivo aspects. And interaction, let us see the atmospheric microbiology interaction with the plant, how this can be interact with the plant means. Here, particularly, fungal community receives ammonia nutrients from the plant since uh, they are vitals. Of course, we know very well about this. This don't know that their requirement or what type of requirement they are going to be getting by the plant. And here, fungi will produce extra magnetic hydrate, particularly extra magnetic hydrate will produce and uh, that can be take up the inorganic. From the soil, and as well, particularly in the inorganic in materials like phosphorus, may also be supplied, and as well as the nitrogen as uh, may produce uh, like a protein in this. Protein in here is one of the that produces in this particular aspect. And here, increases the drought tolerance. The atmospheric microbiology also increases the drought tolerance. Many common desert plants have heavy microbial uh, combinations, and it may also increase the resistance to the root pathogens. So whatever the pathogens are going to be infected to the plant, those can also be provided by the uh, association with this atmospheric microbiology. And we can see here with the atmospheric microbiology association plants in the plant and the non atmospheric microbiology association plants, we clearly we can see their growth rate and the health conditions, everything. And the other types of microbiology, of course, when it comes to the other types of microbiology, other than this, Yeah. 
Okay, thank you very much for this uh, watching this uh, video.